Hi everyone! Today we are going to explore some blow straw art together. And we're just going to walk through each step. And trust me, I think you're going to get the hang of it pretty quickly. But here we go. So all you need is a nice flat piece of paper. It can be any color you like, but I chose white just so we can see the colors a little bit better. And you're going to need your watercolor paints, a paintbrush, and a cup of water. Oh, and a straw too, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to take our paintbrush and we're going to dance it around in our water a little bit just so our bristles are nice and wet. And then we're gonna pick any color we want. I think I'm going to start with blue. So I'm gonna swirl it around in my watercolor. Might need to add a little bit of more water. For this, we want a lot of water in our paint. That way, when we blow it, we're gonna have more paint to work with. So after you make a little puddle in your watercolor, you're going to take your brush, add one more drop of water, and then place it down on the paper. I'm gonna add a little bit more too. And it doesn't matter what kind of shape I make, I'm really just gonna make a little blob and then I'm going to take my straw I cut mine in half and I'm going to put it nice and close to the blob and I'm going to blow and now I have a design that I didn't even know that I could make in the first place Now I'm gonna try it again, but this time I think I'm gonna use a different color. So I'm gonna dance my paintbrush around in the water, cleaning it out before I move to my next color. So I'm gonna bring a lot of that water with me. This time I think I'm going to do red. I'm gonna do the same thing, adding a lot of water here. I don't think I even added enough last time. Then, I think I might try tapping it this time, getting different kinds of patterns. And I'm gonna go in with my straw. And that one gave me a different kind of splatter design. I think I'm gonna keep doing this with different colors. Maybe I'll try yellow this time. Maybe I'll get a little bit closer to my last one. Maybe I'll make my starting shape a little bit bigger and add a little more water. I can add water right onto my paper before I blow. I'm trying to blow in all different directions so I can get different kinds of designs. Maybe I will add two colors to one blob like this. I'll make it a little bigger my paintbrush down. I'm going to try from this direction. Ah, 
I like that one. I think I want to try another cool color. Maybe some greens with blue. Now friends, I don't know if you noticed yet, but I just want to remind everyone that there is no one way to do something like this. Anything you do is wonderful and creative and exploratory. There's no way that you could be right or wrong. We're just having fun and trying new things. And it's okay if something doesn't come out exactly the way that you thought it might. I know for me right here, I got the green into the yellow and I don't know if I like the way that looks or that color, but we're just trying things. And maybe next time I know that I don't wanna mix those two colors. Now you may notice I'm adding a lot more water than I started out doing. I'm just dipping right back in the water and going right to the paper. I think this might help me when I blow. I don't know about you, but this reminds me a little bit of when you're laying on the grass or you're taking a walk and you look up at the sky and you see the clouds that are in all different shapes and sizes. And sometimes I like to look for different things that I see in the clouds, like animals or people and I like to imagine them as shapes in the sky. And right now I'm kind of doing that with these shapes that I'm making. Do you see anything in them? Sometimes it helps to take a little break from looking at it and come back and you'll see something totally new. But that's the nice part about doing something like this is we don't have to make it come out like anything. We can just have fun exploring different abstract shapes, shapes that don't represent a figure or a thing or a person or an animal that we already know. They can just be what they are. Beautiful colors and any random shape that we want. <laughs> Sometimes the paint dances away from us a little bit. Oh, I think I like this design. Kind of reminds me of a bug.
we can come at all different angles with our blue. I'm gonna try straight up and see what happens. Oh, that's cool. Kind of radiates out from the center. Maybe I can go on top of it and try to make something like a sun, a different color. Adding a bit more water than I even did before. Looks like a little foot there. I think I want to add some more cool colors. And by cool colors, I mean blues and green and some purple. watercolors blend so nicely together and it's amazing how little paint you really need. The water goes a long way. And sometimes it's nice to just watch and see how the water changes our painting as we set it down. <laughs> 